website that supports Hillary Clinton is selling T-shirts featuring her holding the severed head of the presumptive Republican presidential nominee. Look at that. Pretty gruesome, pretty silly, and par for the course in this election. Hillary and her supporters have called her opponent everything from unstable and unfit for the presidency to making juvenile attacks about his hair and skin color. The press seems to love every insult, no matter how petty. Last week, Hillary tweeted, delete your account. It's a popular, if overused, social media jibe, but the mainstream press went wild over it. There were thousands of articles written about this one tweet. Vox.com triumphantly announced the first burn of the general election has been scored. Hillary backer Elizabeth Warren recently went on a Twitter tirade against the presumptive nominee, insulting him with words like lame, weak, and pathetic. Again, thousands of articles praised her bravery and wit. The Democrats, of course, have been doing this for years. In the last election, Mitt Romney touted his success in hiring women, proudly saying he had binders full of them in his office. Obama supporters spent two weeks snickering like Beavis and Butthead, acting as if there were actual women in the binders. You get it? Oh, you would if you were in middle school. But the question for the Republican nominee is what to do this year. For years, Democrats have been using reality show tactics, taking political opponents out of context in order to gain flashy headlines and deliberately using innuendo to slander their rival's character. What should this nominee do? What can he do? It should be interesting to see. Deirdre, what do you think? What can this Republican nominee, I forget who it is, what can he do <laughs> yeah, I think we don't in hear the face of right these now. attacks? You know what? He doesn't really seem to have too much angst or problem defending himself. Uh, I will say the T-shirt holding his head is actually a little bit much to me, and not to be too heavy, but after a day where there was a lot of killing, I think, geez, oh man, if you flipped that around and had him holding Hillary Clinton's head, which I know is not the biblical story that it refers to, but I still think that image would have a louder cry. Uh, what's going on. Yeah, well, Schultz, what do you say? Uh, uh, like I said, I've been watching yeah. these political operatives for years. Yeah. Uh, the politicians, yeah. uh, their, their chorus in Hollywood, the press. Uh -huh. It's juvenile attacks. They've always used them. And then all uh -huh. of a sudden, uh, you know, I, I think we're supposed to be upset when the other side does it. Yeah, I guess. But, you know, I mean, conservatives, you guys are supposed to be better than this, right? You're not PC. <laughs> Are you getting PC on me now, guys? Is that what's happening? Well, I'm. It's I'm, a joke. It's a metaphor. It's like, who okay. cares? The one unrealistic thing about the picture is that she's holding his hair and it's sticking on his head. Uh huh. <laughs> That's the only thing that bothers me about the picture. Because if someone really grabbed Donald by his hair, obviously the rest of his body would fall off. That's it. Well, okay. <laughs> Schultz, I think, may be right that it's time to stop worrying about juvenile attacks. Who cares? Uh, who cares? They're attacking him the wrong way. We he, so, Jessica, you must agree that both sides enga engage in juvenile attacks, yeah. even though the Republicans have only been doing it for a couple of months now, uh, that it's okay that they're but joining... doing it so well. Yes, that they're yeah. joining the, the Democrats in playing their own game. You agree? I mean, ish. It's just one person. It's not the whole party. But... Yeah, I mean, uh, yes, I think so. This crooked Hillary thing, it's working for him, I guess. Um, it doesn't sound particularly presidential when he's trying to give a real, you know, teleprompter speech for, you know, I guess he lasts like two minutes with it, and then he dives into those kinds of insults. The Pocahontas thing, I, I guess it's kind of funny. It's a little worn out now. But I actually, that T-shirt, I really don't like it, and I have a lot of Hillary Clinton flair, yes. and I would not wear it. You don't it. like that T-shirt. Okay. No, uh, Ambassador Bolton, look, uh, I think that, uh, you know, I... I I think it's it's interesting to see what's happening with the Democrats. They've been so uh, they've been huffing and puffing over the juvenile attacks, but they've been engaging them for years. Yeah, I think this whole thing is overstated on both sides. I think we we tend to think things are worse now than they were before. But think back to the glory days of the late 19th century when Grover Cleveland was in the White House and and ah. campaign ads included a silhouette <laughs> of the White love House Grover. Uh, with a with a picture of a mother and a baby carriage and a little child beside her. And the caption is, Mama, where's my pa? Gone to the White House, ha, ha, ha. Because of the allegation that Grover Cleveland had yeah, an illegitimate child. Right? It, goes, it goes downhill from there. So this is nothing new. It doesn't bother me. I say let 100 flowers bloom. That's right. So I guess this, this nominee is more like the great Abe Lincoln, as he says. Okay. Uh. <laughs>